So with that in mind, let's take a look at some of your cards, uh, probably 10 to 15 or so, kind of showcasing mm -hmm. off what you've collected your entire life. I had, well, th this, th this does not subscribe, uh, describe what, how that happened, but I will try to tell you a tiny bit about each card. That'd be perfect. Okay. The first one, do I have to show this? Uh, let's see, to put it up here. Oh no, the green screen is taking it off a little bit. Let me see if I can delete my green screen. Hold on there. Like that angle works perfect. You can see the card. Anyway, it's a Brady Chrome rookie and it's a 9.5 and through no fault of my own. I think this was just, it just happened to be there and it got, and Chrome generally great. And this used to be on my wall. My point was I'm not putting it on the wall. It's too much of a temptation for somebody. So I put a nine paper up there just so somebody can say, oh yeah, you've got to, you know, the, unless they're a serious collector, they don't really care. Uh, next one, let's see. It's a big man. Oh, gee. Yeah, I'd say angle it like when you had it this way a little bit. Yeah, you can see it like that. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Again, now this is a 10. The frustration about this big man on court, Kobe, is that it's a 10. And again, no fault of my own. It was sleeved. It was in, you know, we had the, you know, some type cards of this. And the frustration about the 10 is it has three tens and a 9.5. And I submitted this personally. So if there's anybody who wants to talk about the integrity of the Beckett graders, they did not give me a black label. Somehow they found, you know, uh, some imperfection, which I cannot see, uh, because that'd be a, that'd be a really good card in a black label. Wow. Is that a, is that a rookie year? I, I don't know basketball. No, it's 97, 98, but it's, oh, second, it's year, then. second year. Yeah. Anyway, it's, it's a so great bad. card. Tough, tough insert. This is, uh, uh, you know, Clemens, uh, again, I'm, I don't know why I'm picking these 9.5, but the Donner's crusade of the, of the number to 25. I just have that because that was actually a sample given to, to me or us, you know, from uh, Donner's back in the day. Okay. This is what the, we'll go back to the sample card. Do they stamp, stamp it at all? Like at the sample? No, it's unnumbered. That's, you know, I had an episode with uh, Tanner Jones cause he was, He's coveting my uh, Jose Canseco of that because I have uh, uh, I have a couple of those. So uh, anyway, Clemente, but this is Opichi, and it's an eight, which is a which is a good grade for for Opichi. Oh, and it's Clemente, and again, it's uh, this is my point. I, I think it's it didn't go on my wall because it's too subtly different, uh, too subtly similar. You know, it's not different enough. From people say, oh, that's a 65 tops Clemente. Oh, what's the big deal? Then they got to take it off, flip it over, and say, oh, it's different. Was that one of those cards that you picked up in the, the, the Toronto Expo? I got it in Toronto. I got in Toronto probably 30 years ago. Probably 30 years ago. And I no one thing with the Toronto Expo. Do you see more like OPG vintage cards than you see tops, or is it about an even split or a lot more tops? No, there's still a lot of tops there, but there's more OPG than you'll see in the rest of uh, the United States put together. <laughs> If you're looking for that, uh, this is a tattoo orbit of, uh, of Dizzy Dean. And it just shows this is a 1.5. I have, I'm not condition uh, sensitive. In fact, this card has been altered a little bit. Yeah, I, you can't really see it there, but it looks like there was a blemish uh, to the side of his head. And it probably was not even power erased, but erased. And so why this is a 1.5 instead of an A, you know, you and I talked about that a little bit, whether it's an A or 1.5, it's a very tough uh, card from, from, uh, from 1933. And near a uh, Chicago release, I believe, right? Is yeah. And it, actually my dad, I, I don't think this was one of my dad collected in Chicago in 1933. He had Gowdies and play balls and stuff from 33 to 40, 40 pretty much. Cause that was when he was, you know, eight to 15. So my dad's 96 now. Um, I don't think this is one of his cards, but he did have a couple of tattoo orbits. Uh, just to give equal time for Eric Norton, the podfather, Hulk Hogan, this set I got in probably 1982. Again, you couldn't buy a type card. Nobody cared of wrestling cards 
back in 1982. They, these were a mail order thing. And I just was an exhaustive collector and I collected wrestling and everything else. So, uh, and then I busted the set a number of years ago and thought I better get that graded so it doesn't get, because it already gotten dinged up a little bit. Those wrestling oh. cards are tough. There's a guy. But I bought it from the, in the back of the magazine. You know, I didn't subscribe to the magazine, but somebody said, Hey, you can get these for, I don't know what they were five bucks or something. It was they were ridiculous. I should have, that wasn't my mindset. You know, my mindset was just to get, get one, you know, uh, this I got personally, uh, Mickey Mantle autographed. Uh, I've had this thing with, uh, with, uh, a couple people. Do you prefer, autographed or unautographed i think especially if it was personally autographed if i sat there or i stood there and he sat there um you know it's how this signature only got a six i don't know i haven't really discussed that with the 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 beckett authenticating guys um this is uh, jambalaya of uh scotty pippen i i do have a couple other players but it's a tough i just think it's a it's it epitomizes along with the PMGs, the whole idea of the creativity of the insert sets and the parallels from 96, 97, 98. So this is 97, 98, again, very creative. And I, I don't think that's why FLIR went out of business, but the hobby did not fully appreciate that. Uh, that. Uh, this is uh, my Eat Your Heart Out John Newman card uh, of the, the Jackie. Uh, when I look at it, it's slightly off-centered, but very clean. Um, and I love the card. I love the card. And the fact it hasn't, the demand has completely outstripped the supply. It's not, it's it's one of the more common cards in the in the 48 Leafs, but it's but it's just crazy it's expensive. Taken off in the last three years. Yeah. And it's yeah, and it's a great looking card. The satchel page is the one that satchel is way way tougher it's 10 times tougher than jackie and doby as well i believe and doby is in that yeah, new house and i i do i have those actually i mean i i see that's what i was working on i wasn't working on european stuff i was finishing my 48 leaf set and then i after i got it finished i that's when i started doing the price guides okay this is uh, babe ruth it's only a two but it used to be my dad's so he had a couple of ruths this the red background uh I actually don't care what it's worth because it used to be my dad's. Um, this is a, just an example of kind of a novelty card. It's a 9.5, but it's uh, it's Stan Smith. I mean, I played tennis when I was in high school. It was my, my main sport. And this is a Stan Smith GTE card that, you know, I just collected everything from back in 1990. It was uh, issued to the uh, Super Bowl VIPs, corporate sponsors. But I, I know Stan Smith now, and I just think it's cool to have something on my wall that I know the player, and he was a Hall of Famer in a different sport and a, and a nice guy to boot. Um, and then lastly, this not my favorite person, but uh, an iconic athlete, but this is a, a Tiger Woods. And I wish I could say that I was the one with the idea to have a card grade and an autograph grade, uh, but I wasn't. Uh, and so this is, you know, it's, it's 2002. It's, you know, it's autographed. So I, ke I kept it for that reason, but I'm not, I, I want to, I, I think people that love sports and love the players, they need to love the player as a role model for how to be great in that sport. <laughs> <laughs> lot, Maybe lot God is a role issues. model for how to be great in uh, life or uh, other 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 things but you know people make mistakes 